All right, so I'm gonna make this video for a little bit older style carburetor, which would be pre-77, so 76 and under. So the K1, K2, K3, um, and the Fs that are below 77 to use. I'm gonna go ahead and coin the term bottle top carb. All right, bottle top. Wonder why? Because it kind of looks like the top of a bottle, a beer bottle. Someone's probably already said that before, but I was thinking about it today. I was like, oh, they're kind of like bottle top carbs. Everyone calls those keyhole carbs. Anyways, um, let's use a different style. Okay, so this one does not have a base setting. You do all four in the parameter of what the book tells you to do. So you want to, of course, line all four of them up. Again, mechanical slide. When you actuate your throttle, all four are being functioned. Okay, so there is no base setting. But your adjustment that you make here is for individual carburation. All right. So for this one, um, again, same kind of principle I have on those. I go ahead and loosen the lock nut up, which would be that top nut here. This makes no adjustment to your um, vacuum piston or your, I'm sorry, your, your slide piston. But instead, this big 17 millimeter nut does, okay? So grab a wrench, 10 millimeter, 17, and you can crack them loose. Even a socket works good as well. But your turns on this bigger nut is what determines the height of that slide. Okay, so the tricky part with these is that when you're going to lock them down, they tend to twist a little bit and change. Um, hopefully in the, in the first video, that if you watched it, you know that after you've made your adjustments, turn the bike off, give the throttle a couple slaps so it can kind of seat itself back down and readjust. You'll be doing that over and over and over again on these until you find a way that they're all lined up. Okay, because every time you go to tighten this nut down, something always changes. All right, so it, it, it'll take a little bit more work for these style. Again, each one's covered by a boot on all four, but you loosen the lock nut up first on each one. So that way when you make your adjustments, it's very easy to do. Don't ever gorilla grip it and bear down and make sure it's nice and tight. They don't take much, okay? But again, that's the lock nut, and this is what makes the adjustment. Okay, it, it brings the slide up or brings so, the slide down. Bottle top carburetor, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Again, it's just a little bit different style, but it's done exactly the same way, just like all the other ones are done, okay? Um, the thing that can get kind of, um, I guess, confusing or can get uh, out of your hand a little bit is these adjustments made up top of here. Um, don't worry about adjusting those unless when you follow these down and look down inside the throats and making sure that they're all kind of seating in the same manner, all right? That's when you would refer to this, but these rarely ever change, okay? So bottle top carbs, that's how you make the adjustments up top of there. Again, give the throttle a couple slaps once you're done and readjust and keep readjusting until you got them to where you want them to be. I hope that makes sense for you guys. That is this style carb, and that is that. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions about your carb, just let me know. Shoot me a, an email, and I'll try to help. Remember, you guys if you out. haven't subscribed already to the mailing list, I send this content out to all my uh, subscribers through their email. All right. So if you want to get in that list, so you don't have to dig around and see what I came out with next or what's hot and what's not, I'll send it straight to your email. Just go ahead and, and, and subscribe to the mailing list. I'll see you guys next time. Later.